and welcome back to another Mad Panic Gaming Review. PlayStation 2's Lament of Innocence takes place at the very beginning of the Castlevania story. The origin of the vampire hunt in Belmont's generation span in war against Dracula. And it all began with our protagonist, Leon Belmont. A former Baron who's been informed that his beloved Sarah has been taken by a powerful vampire and is now being held captive in his castle, a castle full of monsters. It's an elaborate game in the ever-ending night. Like Leon, the 3D Castlevania games up to this point were off to a rocky start. But is Lamnit of Innocence the one that whipped the series back into shape? Or does a vampire suck? What is one of the most overlooked games in the franchise just happens to be what I think is one of the best. Hunting Vampires has never been so satisfying. <laughs> I love the way this particular Castlevania is structured. I'm a sucker for a good hub world and that's what we got here. Upon entering the castle, to your left you'll find a series of rooms that act as the game's tutorial, taking you through the need to know mechanics. And to your right, you'll find five portals which take you through the game's five hellish dungeons. And five demons you need to defeat to unlock the final path. Each area has its own elaborate theme and in traditional Castlevania fashion, puzzles to solve, secrets to uncover, and bosses to fight. Now it's definitely not the giant sprawling Metroidvania map of something like Symphony of the Night, given how all of these dungeons are separated, but for me I just love the simplicity of going into a dungeon and then coming back to a centralized hub to touch base. Ocarina of Time does that with its Hyrule Field, Demon Souls and Bloodborne do it, and hell I guess you could say even Mega Man, my favorite series, does it with its stage select in a way. Don't mistake that simplicity though for a lack of content. There is a ton to sink your teeth into. Each dungeon is sprawling with a slew of awesome enemies, hidden upgrades and secret areas, and some pretty elaborate and awesome traps to maneuver around. The boss fights are great and I really love this gnarly undead parasite. I guess you could say he's a sight for sore eyes. And you got others like the Wicked Succubus and the classic Medusa. There's no shortage of optional hidden bosses either, with three elemental monsters that reward you with elemental whips, a doppelganger in a water dungeon no less, not to mention an ultra powerful super boss, the Forgotten One, if you're up for the challenge. To take on these challenges, Leon is equipped with a good old trusty whip, and there's just something about the whips in these games, and frankly any game with a gothic Victorian setting. Just makes you want to whip it up, doesn't it? Of course, another returning stable, are the good old sub weapons that consume hearts. From axes to crosses to a jar of blue flames, a lot of familiar items return and a really cool feature is that you can change what they do by equipping different orbs for even more badass abilities. Leon has more in his bag of tricks. You can equip armor and a variety of accessories for perks like converting damage into hearts. You can also equip relics to your gauntlet for some extra abilities like a temporary defense boost or leaving a trail of fire in your wake. That power is quite something. But I am beloved by the night. You will taste my powers. I'll kill you and the night. The music and presentation here is nothing short of fantastic. Now Castlevania has always had and been known for incredible music, from Bloody Tears to Wicked Child, 
and Lament of Innocence is no exception. There's a killer mix of catchy electronic tunes and some classical melodies, all memorable and all perfectly complementing that haunting atmosphere. After beating the game, there's a nice handful of extras to add to the game's replayability. You'll unlock Jiao Chim mode. I'm probably butchering that, but this is where you get to play as Jiao Chim, one of the game's villains. And it's a very interesting mode because it kind of plays like a shoot 'em up. With multiple stances, you'll be flaming swords all around the room and can unleash a giant magical laser beam once you max out your MP. Another addition is Crazy Mode, which is essentially the hard mode of the game, where enemies are much more difficult and you can hold only five of an item instead of nine. And beating the game on this mode, of course, rewards you with more items. And last but not least, if you manage to beat the game with Jiao Chim, easier said than done, you'll unlock the almighty Pumpkin Mode, which is basically the same as Leon, but now, you're a pumpkin man. And what better time of year, right? Who doesn't like some pumpkin? <laughs> nice costume, butthead. But you're scaring my girlfriend. Now get the hell out of here. Castlevania Lament of Innocence is a remarkable game that I feel is often an overlooked entry in the series with an unbelievable soundtrack that goes unheard. It's actually my favorite Castlevania game to date. As someone who's not the biggest fan of giant-sized Metroidvania maps, the more streamlined action-adventure nature here with just the right amount of exploration, not to mention the hub world and its gameplay loop, makes this the Castlevania that clicks with me. It's got the look, the sound, the combat, and a cool cast of characters to boot. It's a game that vibed with me before I even booted it up. With the awesome box art from Ayami Kojima, it always caught my eye in the game stores back in the day. And all that is to say, this is one game you can judge by its cover. You won't be lamenting Lament of Innocence because this Castlevania is excellent. Excellent. Have you ever seen a vampire? No. Well, first of all, they're not romantic, all right? It's not like they're a bunch of <laughs> hopping around in rented formal wear and seducing everybody in sight with cheesy Euro trash accents, all right? Forget whatever you've seen in the movies. They don't turn into bats. Crosses don't work. Garlic, you want to try garlic? You stand there with garlic around your neck. One of these buggers will bend you over and take a walk up your strata chocolata while he's sucking the blood out of your neck. 